So I really love it. Um, at first, when I was coming from Canada, you know, I wanted to have the experience abroad, but I didn't want to, to solo travel as much. And here I found it's really easy to be very independent, even though I'm living with a family. And it's giving me a lot of really good experience on traveling. So I really enjoy it. I think it's like an opportunity for children to, to talk to a person who speaks uh, uh, her own language. Mm -hmm. And then they can learn a lot from, from Christina. And Christina, I think, learns yeah, a lot, I learn from, a lot from, from them the children. as well. Yeah. It's really good for my vocabulary too, because sometimes if we're yeah. practicing, you know, they'll be like, oh, what's that word in Spanish? And then I can learn it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. The parents have been extremely accommodating. Uh, the food in Spain and in general in this house are like absolutely amazing. Um, the kids are very polite. <laughs> so the, the time, like the schedule, the Spanish schedule, it's pretty famous for being very late. And so that was a bit of something to get used to, but I really enjoy it because that means you have more time in the day. Um, living with the children is interesting. <laughs> And um, I used to be vegetarian, and when I came here, I decided that I wanted to experience everything and not limit my palate, and so now I eat meat. <laughs> the first thing I ate was cochinillo, so that was, <laughs> that was an experience. I think the biggest uh, difference is in Canada, we put a lot more stress on extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. They all happen in the school, within the timetable, and they're very important, uh, which I think is both a good and uh, an advantage and a disadvantage because um, it gives kids the opportunity, kids that don't really excel in math or sciences, it gives them an opportunity to have something that they excel in, uh, but also, I feel like sometimes in Canada I didn't get the concentration on academics I felt maybe I should have. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I thought it was, I think it's a really amazing opportunity for people like me to to not only to like work in a classroom and like experience like Spanish lifestyle but also to get out of their corner of the world and they get more global knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think it's uh, good for, for children because they can see that uh, English is not uh, a language uh, in a book. It's a way to, to communicate. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's real, it's something real. So I think it's a good experience. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I think that it's probably helpful. Um, but for me, I know that I had a lot of experience working with children before this, and so that it was it was more helpful to come into that classroom environment. But I'm an assistant, and so they do most of the teaching, and I help where I can. We do a lot of conversation groups, which is really good, and I can you know talk indivi individually to the kids, which is really helpful for them to practice their English. But I don't think it's necessary to be like a teacher. Mm -hmm. say worth it, but that's two words. <laughs> I suppose um, important. Um, um, communication. Exciting. <laughs> so lame. For me, this program has been like absolutely amazing. I think I've learned so much culturally and about teaching and about Spain in general. I think there's so many aspects that you really learn so much about in this program. For me, it's really fun. It's really fun to talk with she about the costumes and how to explain in English some costumes or some expressions that 
they are really difficult for me to explain and and she she asked me about um expression that she she has heard like cariño or something like that and why why is she told me about cariño and I say I don't know how to explain to you <laughs> and I, it it was really fun for me It's for me. It's been very fun. I had no idea what to expect, um, but they've always been super welcoming with me. They've helped me a lot with um, language learning. They've always been really open and social, and they always want to hang out, which is a lot of fun. And it's really just been. It's really hard to describe the experience because it's just been so wonderful. But they've been really open with me, and I've learned so much about the food, their customs, their culture. They've introduced me to their extended family. It's they really made me feel like their family and that's been so special. Yes, I absolutely, absolutely. would. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's it's so I don't know, you 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 because she's she's wonderful. So it, it's my it's my first time and, and I want to participate. Sorry about my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I, I've had friends ask me, like, How's, how's your experience been? How's it been living in Spain and teaching? And I've been like, it's, it's really been so wonderful. I really couldn't have it. I didn't know what to expect, but it's been, I feel like I've learned so much, and it's just a, a truly wonderful experience, and it's been a lot of fun, too. And, um, yeah, I definitely 100% would recommend yeah. the program. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I've done some informal teaching before this and I also minored in English, but I think really just coming with an open mind and um, being willing to learn and take advice and kind of just adapt is the most important quality. I think you could really come from any background, but if you have an open <coughs> mind to... Maybe it helps, but I think it, it's not necessary. Yeah. Because you, you need a, a person with open mind and, and to adapt uh, uh, different situations, uh, different situations of the kids. And I think it's not necessary, but maybe it helps, but it's not necessary. Because she's not related with education and she's doing very well. I think the time differences are a little, there's a little bit of a time difference. I think depending on like what school you're going to in the United States, they might start a little bit earlier than nine or they might end a little bit later than two. But the main differences, I think, especially with teaching methods, I think like there's a lot more of a relationship between, especially in Spain, I've noticed a lot more relationship between the teachers and the students and being, more re yeah, yeah. being really caring about the kids and really like communicative. And sometimes in American schools you have that, but also there's more distance, I think, between the teachers and students, and I think it's more formal, more mm. kind of distance. But I, I, I felt like the communicative method, I think it's a good way to teach, and I think it really engages the students having that relationship. It depends on the teacher, maybe. Yeah, but if you have a good teacher, <laughs> like Flora, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> students. I think... My relationship with the other teachers has been really good. I've been able to talk to them about lesson plans or ideas that I have, um, like, and I want to implement in the classroom. And it's been really easy to work with them. They've all been super friendly and nice. And then the games too. Games we've done yeah. games too. And then with the students, it's also been really great. They've been very nice and excited. Yeah. To oh, Sabrina! <laughs> <laughs> they hug a lot. <laughs> yes, they've been excited to have me here, I think, so it's been good with them as well. <laughs> That's such a hard question. <laughs> um, I don't think, yeah, I, I think it's definitely, there's so many words that I could choose. One of them, unforgettable. Um, amazing. Amazing. Um, Life-changing. Kind of make it <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I just think it's it's really been all of those things and just really I've learned so much in this program and it's it's just been a really great experience. Yeah. yeah.